So private VLAN edge, what's with this feature? It's, it's going to be a, a feature which allows you to block all traffic between configured ports of a switch. It's going to be all or nothing model. But this specific feature doesn't allow you to restrict traffic between devices connected to multiple switches. Only between devices connected within the same switch. So that's a restriction of private VLAN edge. So private VLAN edge configuration, you go on the switch ports and you configure them as protected by the command switch port protected. And at that point, all traffic between protected ports is going to be blocked. That's why I was saying that it's going to be an all or nothing model. While all traffic between protected ports and non-protected ports, which, are, which is the default state of, of a switch port, it is going to be allowed. So with this feature, you just block all traffic within the same VLAN between configured ports as with, within ports configured as being protected. And to verify your implementation, of course, you're going to see that you can no longer send traffic back and forth in the same VLAN. But to, to confirm that the configuration was enabled, it's going to be the show interfaces and interface number switch port to verify that port pro, uh, switch uh, protected port was enabled, which is called private VLAN edge. So looking back at our physical diagram, for example, let's see if we can quickly show that up. So physical diagram, let me open the physical diagram up. It is not opened. Physical diagram. So let's look at the main logical diagram and see if I have any two devices connected to the same switch so I can enable this feature test server of A and not really well there we go router 1 and router 3 looking at the diagram router 1 gig 0 0 and router 3 FA 0 0 both of them connect to the same switch of switch 1 So if you go on router 3, it has, let's make use of CDP to confirm that. Show CDP neighbors. You see that router 3 is connected on port FA00, the local interface, to switch 1 on remote port FA103. And router 1, let's re-enable CDP on that interface. Uh, it is not disabled. Show CDP neighbors. Router 1 gig 0, 0 is connected likewise to switch 1 on port 101. And clearly 1 and 2, 1 and 3 can speak with each other via switch 1. So both of them are connected to switch 1. Router 1 on port 101. So router 1 is connected on port 101. And router 3 is connected on port... 103. So they can communicate in between because switch one is not configured with the private VLAN protected edge on those physical ports where the routers are com are connected. So I should be go I should be able to go on router one and create to send any kind of traffic to router three. Like let's say I can ping router three. Ping 136.1.13.3. And there we go. Because going to switch one, none of those ports are configured as protected. Show switch port, show interfaces, and then let's say FA101, switch port. And protected is false, non configured. But if you go on those two ports now, interface range FA101. and FA103, and you say switch port protected, and now you say do show interface FA101, do show interface FA101 switch port. Then there you go, it says protected to be true. So at this point, I should be able, I should no longer be allowed to send any kind of IP, uh, any kind of traffic IP or non-IP between one and three at all. 
So now I should no longer be able to ping router 3. So at this point, the switch blocks all traffic back and forward, IP and non-IP, between those two ports. But as soon as I'm going to leave at least one of the two ports to be the regular as non-protected, traffic is going to be allowed back again. Because this feature only drops traffic between protected ports. So let's remove the feature on one of the ports. And I should be able to send traffic back and forth again. And there we go. If we're here, let's also remove it from the other port. Now switch port protected. Okay. This was the feature of private VLAN edge.